Hello everybody, uh, today I would like to show you how to import Gravity Sketch 3D file into Photoshop 3D. As you can see here is a nice sub D, sub -D data. You see we have a lot of materials and also stickers which are PNGs, images stick to the car. Let's go to export, go to OBJ, keep the millimeters axis and mirror plane, go to belt vertexes and render mesh. Hit the Q export and go to cloud exports and then download CUV OBJ zip file. Once you download it, you will have it here. Extract everything and make sure you remember the path. Then go to Photoshop and op open uh, A4 a letter and 300 pixels resolution. Then, then click 3D, new 3D layer, layer from file and then click on the OBJ, not the MTL file OBJ. Click and open. It will ask you about the unit, so keep millimeters. And then you will have the car inside the Photoshop as a 3D file, which is super cool. Now let's so let's learn how what we can do to improve the data. As you can see, it's this whitish grayish color, and the PNG images turn out to be um, meshy. So let's switch them on and off. Okay, so let's kill them. Also, this one on the side, and this one on the front. So if you want to select the 3D object, you need to click on the surface. And if you want to rotate the car, car you need to be here in the scene and then you can rotate. So click on the front image and now, yeah, now we can get rid of it. Now, again, it's locked and you cannot rotate. So go to the scene, click here, and now you can rotate with the left mouse click. Now let's change the whole uh, base color, click on the main mesh, check if you selected the correct one, perfect. And then here, this is a mesh and this is a, a material. So click on the material and here we will change the color. Okay, let's go for a nice red. And now we can also change some attributes of the material. So let it uh, give it a bit glow, make it more metallic. And yeah, refraction, keep it here. And now let's say we want to create a glass. So click on the glass. Again, check the material. And I want a nice blue glass. This is also cool. Photoshop has the 3D materials here and you here we will have a blue glass. Nice. Okay. Here you can also play a bit with the color of the material. and give it a tint. We can give it also a glow, make it more metallic a little bit. And here is the tra translucence. Great, now let's fix the headlamps. Let's make them white. Again, we are fixing the material, not the mesh. Here I was testing the first one or the silk material, was it? Oh, this one, yeah. Oh, let's go for this one, for white color. And let's give it a glow, exactly. Roughness is on minimum. Can it be a bit metallic? We can keep it minimum. So let's go here to the light bulb and we want the white color and we here you can play with the intensity and also with the shadows, how ambient there are. So let's make them a bit softer. Good. Give it a bit of tint again. And here, here you can also change it to point, spot or infinite. 
and let's say we want night lights or or red lights you will see how it how it change here okay so yeah go for daylighting here or default yeah we have the shadow here mm -hmm. when you want to select the whole car click here with control on the car yeah this is great and then create a new layer let's say you want to only select the red parts so that you cannot select it by material or by the parts so go to channel and select the red and go to layers to new layer and let's make a new new layer pick a bit of the gray make it nicer here control d to deselect and then go back here to the cuv obj layer control select and control select inverse and delete the and delete the excess here of the color now let's go back to 3d yeah. then if you want to continue with more like artistic approach to the whole car press ctrl shift alt e and you will have here a new layer which you can tweak like you would normally uh, tweak the photoshop sketch so let's with the perspective a bit make it bigger and now you have a proper jpeg sketch and you can continue with your wacom or synthing inside the photoshop but it's much easier because you can preset the materials uh, lightings textures and yeah the selection is much much easier let me know what you think about this workflow in the comment sections below bye bye